Hi everyone. Today we will be learning about deterministic finite automata. Now a finite automata is of two types. Finite automata with output and finite automata without output. Finite automata without output is again of three types. DFA, deterministic finite automata, NFA, non-deterministic finite automata and NFA with epsilon. So here we learn deterministic finite automata. In deterministic finite automata, for each input symbol, one can determine the state to which the machine will move. Hence it is deterministic. It has a finite number of states. The machine is called deterministic finite machine or deterministic finite automata. Now in the deterministic finite automata, it can be represented by five tuples. First is Q which represents finite non-empty set of states which is generally denoted by capital letters A to Z or uh, Q0, Q1 second is denoted by sigma which is finite not empty set of inputs which are generally denoted by small letters A to Z or with numbers 0 to 9 the next is Q0 which is initial state or starting state which is denoted by in transition diagram it is denoted by a circle with an arrow pointing or in transition table it is denoted by a symbol of the state with an arrow pointing. Now next is QF or simply a capital F which is the final state or set of final states since there can be more than one final state and it is denoted by in transition diagram uh, two concentric circles and in transition table it can be either a Q with a circle around it or Q with a star on it or Q with a octatrof on it or Q with a dollar symbol on it there are many symbols generally we use the concentric circles or Q with a circle around it. Now the last is delta which represents a transition function which maps at what state at what symbol it would the machine would transition to the next state. So it is for every state the given input symbol and it will take us to a new state so this is a transition symbol and every state will give an input which will take us to a new state now if I were to give an example it could be say a delta on Q0 if the input is 1 then that will take us to Q1 so we can draw it as Q0 we give an input of 1 it took us to Q1 since there is only one transaction for one input so it is the DFA another example is say for Q0 if it is 1 take us to Q0 and Q1 here on when Q0 if the input is 1 we have to take it to Q0 which is a loop and Q1 since here for one transition one input there are two transitions so it is not a DFA and for final example let's say it says for Q0 if the input symbol is 1 then take to Q1 and for same stage if the input symbol is 0 then take to Q2 so we'll say on Q0 if it is 1 then take to Q1 if it is 2 if it is 0 then take to Q2 since there are two transition on one state but the inputs are both different it is not a DFA when the inputs are same so since the inputs are different and for each input there is only one transition for 1 for 0 
Hence, it is a DFA. Thank you.